So we swing straight to the presidency where we know that President John Dramani Mahama yesterday visited three West African countries that have been affected by the deadly Ebola virus. And uh, the one day visit enabled the president, who is also the ECOWAS chair, to hold discussions with his colleague heads of state on available sub-regional and international interventions to support the countries in their efforts to contain and manage the Ebola outbreak. The president has been leading uh, a, a strong advocacy against any international isolation of the affected countries. And we've been joined in studio by the spokesperson of the president, in the person of Mr. Ben Doche Malo, to give us an idea really what the essence of the president's trip is and also uh, what the president, as in the ECOWAS chairman, also intends to achieve from this particular trip. Thank you very much, Mr. Malo, for joining us. In Thank studio. you very much. I'm shaking your hand right now. We couldn't do that yesterday in Liberia. We couldn't do that in Sierra Leone. They are taking it seriously, quite seriously. Wow. It means that nobody in that country is able to shake the hands of another. Is that the case? At least from what we saw, we were nicely and diplomatically informed as a way of avoiding bodily contact that when we got to the airport, you find someone holding their two hands nicely in a dignified way okay. and bowing to you and just greeting you. And it was quite decent. Uh, you didn't feel like you lost something by not shaking hands. Okay. Right. Uh, let's, let's look at the essence of the president's visit. Um, it is unusual, the death toll that Ebola has recorded in the last few days. And the president has deemed it necessary to visit these three countries. What informed the president's decision, especially with the fact that he had to send some of these items, you know, bags of rice and all that? I think I can give you several reasons. Number one, President John Dramani Mahama is the chair of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State, elected by his colleagues from the 14 other nations to lead ECOWAS. Right. So he went to these three nations in an ECOWAS capacity uh, basically to show solidarity, to express the support of all the West African leaders to President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in Monrovia, to President Enes Bai Koroma in Sierra Leone, and to President Professor Alpha Conde in Guinea. Basically to say, you are not alone in this battle. You should not be forsaken. You should not be abandoned. Mm. And if I could cite two key things, when we were in Monrovia, you saw President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf standing with President Mahama, and she said something that would be of significance to all of us. She said, President Mahama, we thank you for visiting us. We are not just thanking you, but we want to appreciate the fact that at our moment of greatest need, you did not abandon us. Liberians will never forget that in their time of greatest need, you came and you reached out to us. That was said without notes, uh, with no inhibition. You should have been there to sense the significance of a statement like that from President Johnson Sirleaf. Then in Sierra Leone, when the two presidents had their tete-a-tete, -tete, they met the media. President Koroma said, President Mahama, we thank you for coming here. Your visit to Sierra Leone has broken the isolation that has been imposed on us. Please go out there and tell the world what we are doing. We are striving. We are doing our best. We can de defeat this outbreak but we need the support of the international community we should not be abandoned okay now i i would want you to give us a sense of how it felt like especially in liberia where we have the highest number of deaths when you arrived what was the feeling like especially knowing that you are in quote unquote a danger zone first of all let me say the stories we hear the pictures we see do not truly reflect what is on the ground. You probably go there from these images expecting everything to have come to a halt. Mm. But actually, fairly normal activity was going on. Traffic was in town. The only thing that showed seriousness and vigilance, which are two key words President Mahama is stressing, is right from the airport, number one, we did not shake hands. Number two, we had running water right there on the tarmac with soap. Hand washing with soap is acknowledged by the experts to be one simple but truly effective way of avoiding uh, the spread of the infections. Then number three, 
we had these thermometer guns which were like tasers and they directed them at you without touching you and they would tell your temperature so if it's uh, abnormal they will be able to tell look we need to do further checks mm. screen you more or put you uh, in isolation and then a third point they give you a pamphlet a very small pamphlet with basic facts one key fact is that we shouldn't panic or be fearful of this disease in fact the disease is curable what we need to do is to have the facts which is that most people who get infected with the Ebola virus are people who have had contact with the bodily fluids of those who have shown the final stages of Ebola, like vomiting, blood oozing from uh, certain parts of their bodies, or high fever, or other things like that that can be clearly Symptoms. identified. Yeah. And maybe I just want to stress one thing, Martin. When we met President Ellen Johnson, Selif, he said to President Mahama, please tell people outside that there are hundreds of Liberians who have contracted Ebola, but were able to get cured. When the symptoms are detected early, people are getting cured. Okay. It's not a death sentence. It's curable. We need to get the facts right. We need to get public information campaigns out right. But the people in Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea should not be abandoned. Something President Mahama is stressing. When you abandon them, you are making it worse for mm. them to defeat the disease quickly. Right. That, that enters my next question, which would be that what is the president expecting that this visit to these countries would trigger? What is he expecting to get as a result of doing this? And what sense is he expecting to put out there for the international community to see as this gesture is, is taken? I think the leadership that President Mahama has shown as chair of ECOWAS, uh, the leadership he's shown as the leader of Ghana, he did not go to these places empty-handed. I believe many Ghanaians are people who value their faith, mm -hmm. either as Christians or as Muslims. Okay. When your brother is in trouble, if somebody is sick in 37 military hospital, you may be praying for that person to get healed. But when you visit them, yes, you can even pray with them, encourage them. But above all, when you are able to go there with some substance, mm -hmm. here is a, a can of Milo, or here is some cocoa products, take this, or here is some money to help you. It makes a big difference. And that's in a way what President Mahama was able to demonstrate. Okay. He went there to show encouragement, support, and to also offer these gifts on behalf of Ghanaians out of the generosity of the, his heart, the heart of Ghanaians, out of the compassion and the leadership that he was showing. Coming out of there, what, a few things became clear. When the president met with his colleague presidents, it became clear that promises and pledges have been made. Right. Those promises and pledges need to come out faster. Yeah. And President Mahama is committed to raising advocacy about this with other world leaders mm -hmm. to make sure that these resources come quickly so our brothers and sisters can deal with this effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, the people in these uh, countries should not be ostracized. Ships that should dock in Liberia, in the free port of Monrovia, are refusing to do that. Mm -hmm. And there is no scientific basis for that. And President Sirleaf is appealing to President Mahama to help ease these things. Airlines who have stopped going should just consider the fact that if precautionary measures are effective, mm. uh, hygiene practices are right, medical procedures are right, there should be no abnormal fears about going there. So I think the president managed to break through. And again, when President Koroma tells President Mahama, your coming here has broken our isolation, that is a significant thing for President Mahama to do. Right. Okay. I think I would have to leave it here for now. And uh, please. That's another handshake for, from two Ebola-free gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming through, Mr. Ben-Duce Marlow. My pleasure. Yes, uh, 